So here's the situation. You wake up in the morning, you turn your computer on, you got no power, no lights, nothing. What happened? All of a sudden you think your computer's completely broken. You have storms in the area, bad weather, lightning strikes. If you have an older house, generally you have electrical problems. You could be experiencing just a simple power supply failure, which is a super easy fix. It costs about 40 bucks at any store, about 15 minutes of your time, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. This video is for demonstrating what happens if suddenly you have a power loss. Press the button on your computer, nothing happens, you get no power, no lights. Usually it's a power supply, especially after you've had a storm, if you've had lightning strikes nearby, if you live out in the country, this is pretty common. Um, so this is a relatively easy fix. This power supply, we paid about what, $40 for it? $40. About $40 for this. It's um, actually 60 this power supply provides power to the entire machine, to your hard drive, to your motherboard, all your devices. And if you don't have a working power supply, nothing else will work. So this is a really easy fix. Key when you're doing anything inside of here is maintain, try to maintain contact with this metal case at all times. ESD is called, it's electrostatic discharge. And if you touch it and you've got static built up on you, you will create a spark and computers do not like sparks. So you want to always try to remember to touch the case as often as possible uh, while you're working on this and you should be fine. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna replace this old power supply. Doesn't have enough wattage to run things in here that I needed to run and we're gonna replace it with a 600 watt power supply. I'm going to have my son do this. I'm going to walk him through it. First thing we want to do is we're going to disconnect the power. Go ahead and pull the plug. Okay. You can leave all these other cables connected. So you'll need to get in here. You're going to have four screws in the back of this thing. Go ahead and remove those. All four of those. Can you see Ren? Yep. Just a regular Phillips head screwdriver. That's all you need. So we've got the four screws. Got the four screws set aside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through this, okay? Okay, so first thing, you've got the power supply disconnected, as you can see, it's moving. So you're going to have multiple connections here. Your first connection is your main board, so we just take that and pinch it. A little banana clip there. Just pinch it and pull it up. There you go. So that's all there is right there. Just a pinch clip, okay? Now you've got multiple devices connected. In this case, you've got your DVD drive, so just go ahead. Just, just pull, pull, out. pull that straight out. There you go. And you've also got one on your hard drive right there. So pull that out. It's going to be the wider one. There you go. Okay, so now the last one you've got is your main power, your power connection there. And your motherboard, same thing. Pinch and just pull straight up. Kind of wiggle it back pinch it and kind of wiggle it there you go pops right out and then that's the connector right there okay so now we should be able there's a watch you may have a pin uh, sometimes the power supply has got like um, a pressure connection right there where you have to push down and remove it so yeah that's usually what i do is i just stick a screw or something to hold it down just press down and then just push down on it. There you go. Now you can lift the power supply completely up. Just be careful not to touch anything inside. There you go. Now all you have to do is just move the cables and all that. Anything that's still connected. Now we have our 
our power supply completely removed from the system. All right, so we're gonna take the new power supply, put it in the place of the old one. Now, you gotta make sure you get your pins lined up. You can see here, the screw holes need to line up here. And if there's a fan, it needs to be pointed this way and not towards the outer case. So, push that in there. Go ahead and slide that in there. Kind of lift it up in there. There you go. Okay, boom. Perfect. So we got the new power supply mounted. Now what we gotta do is hook everything back up. Now I'm not worried about the DVD drive at this point. All we want is the connections into the motherboard, the two connectors, and then the hard drive. Okay? So first thing you gotta do is find the four pin connector. So in this case, this is a gaming power supply, so it's actually got multiple four pin connectors, but you only need the one, okay? As you can see, there's the banana clip on it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and pinch it and pop it down in to that four pin connector right there. Okay, and just to verify, let's pull a tug on it and it's good, okay? So now you, all you got left is the 24 pin connector. Okay. Now in this one, because some motherboards require a 20 pin, some require 24, the new power supplies come with the extra four pins separate, but you can pinch them together. Hold that. So you can pinch them together sometimes like that. Okay. And I'm gonna actually demonstrate this on video. Okay. So what you want to do, you can see you've got a 24 pin on this motherboard. So I'm going to pinch them together, kind of hold them together like this. And you can see because where the label is, that's how you want to line these up. So they're labeled on the same side. Just drop it in to the 24 pin slot. Push down until it clicks. Tug on it. It's good to go. Last thing we need is a one of these SATA one of these numerous SATA connectors, which doesn't matter which one. So pick a SATA. Okay, so we got a SATA connector. And I'm just gonna take the hard drive here, plug it in, it only goes one way. It is notched, so you cannot screw it up. Connection's good and tight there. All right, good deal. So now that we have everything connected, now what we're going to do is plug our power back in, hold the top of this so we push it in, okay, and go ahead and hit the power button. What did that do? Okay. What did that do? Ah, there you go. So, computer's turning on, All right. there's windows loading, nice and quiet, everything's running well. All right, so as you can see, Windows loads, you have power once again, and just a few minutes, a few bucks, a couple clips, and you're ready to rock. We have power once again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, if I can walk my kid through it, anybody can do this. It's super easy, super simple. You can always reach out to me if you have any questions, but if you just watch the video step-by-step, step, it'll show you everything you need to know. So I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click on that like button. If I earned your subscription today, that'd be amazing. I appreciate it so much. It really helps me grow this channel and I look forward to making more videos for you.